Hello and welcome to this short video demonstrating a recent Microsoft flow I published to sync the Project Align task status with associated roadmap item status. Firstly, let's take a quick look at the flow. Uh, this is something I've published in a recent blog post uh, a few weeks ago, so we'll include a link to that blog post in the video description for reference. So this flow is triggered uh, when a Microsoft Project Align project is published just using the standard Project Align connector. We then use the SharePoint HTTP action uh, to fire off a request to the Project Align reporting API, uh, the task endpoint, as we can see here, and we filter for the published project. So we pass in that project ID for the, for the published project. Uh, we also filter where the roadmap health, uh, which is the custom field we're using, has a value. And then from that call, we return the task ID and the roadmap health value. We then go on to initialize a variable, in this case we called it health, um, and it's set as an integer. And then we go into a for each loop. And for each of the tasks that are returned from the first HTTP call, we go into a switch statement and we pass in the roadmap health custom field value from that call for that task. And then for each of the values, we then have these case statements. So where the roadmap health value equals on track. We then set the variable to zero for the health. Uh, and we go through all of the possible values for the roadmap health in these various case statements here. And then we also include a default sort of catch all uh, where if it doesn't match, we then just set the value to 100, which equals not set in the roadmap. Then we use a CDS uh, list records action and we query the roadmap items links entity and we do a filter query for the task id so where the task id is equal to the external project task id in that entity then we go into another for each and then for all of the records that are returned from the list records action we then update those records so these are the roadmap items so we can see here we're listing or connecting to the uh, roadmap items entity and we're filtering for the roadmap item id that's being passed in from the previous list records action and then we're setting the health and this is the health that would be that was set in the uh, case previous case statement so before we run this flow and and publish a project let's just have a look at two example roadmaps that we've got and so we can see that the data there so we have a look at this product one. We can see it's connected to Paul's test project and all of the items that are added don't have a status set. So they're all, hence they're, they're blue. So if we have a look at another example roadmap. This is all on just a, a demo instance I've got. And if we have a look here, we can see this project is also Paul's test project. So this one project align project is added to two different roadmaps. And we've got different tasks added from that project as well. But as we can see here, these tasks are also don't have a, a status set. So if we then have a look at the project in Project Online, so it's this one here. I'll wait for that to open. And then we can see our roadmap health custom field there in view. So let's just edit this. I won't change any of the values uh, for here, but this is just a, uh, a standard um, lookup table with the different values in here. In this example, my roadmap health task level custom field, the values in that list match the different health statuses in roadmap. But you can have different values in there. You just have to update it and match it on the on the case statement there to, to map to uh, a particular roadmap health value. So without making any changes, if we just publish this project to trigger the flow, wait for this to come through. That shouldn't take too long. And then if we close this, we check that in. So now back to the project center. So if we drop back into Microsoft Flow, we'll go here and we can see that this one is currently running and it's still on the for each loop, so it's just looping through. And now that was completed successfully. 
So now if we go back into a look at our roadmaps, let's have a look at the first one. So we can see here that the statuses have now updated. So T1 is done. I won't go into them all, but T3 we can see is at risk. And then T7 is high risk. Now we have a look at our other example roadmap, which was roadmap two. We can see here again the status has been updated so t1 is done and if we have a look at t2 it's set to high risk so as you can see from a very simple uh, no code solution using microsoft flow we can easily synchronize the other data from project align uh, to update the the roadmap data i will save this uh, example flow or solution starter flow as a template and put it onto my blog uh, so that it can be so you can download it if you're interested in, in taking a look and using it as a solution starter. Um, I'll also add that link uh, to that download in the video description. So thank you for watching.